Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alex and this is The Car Creative and today we get to do a review of the 2020 Toyota RAV4 and this one we've got the Trail Edition which is my personal favorite of the entire lineup. But let's just dive into some of the really cool features that the RAV4 Trail Edition has. So around the front of the vehicle we've got some really nice styling features that are specific to the Trail Edition. Every RAV4 kind of gets its own little spice on the front grille. This one for me the heritage style grill on the trail edition for me it looks the best we've got led headlamps with a really cool daytime running light lamp and then in this particular model we also have fog lamps and then coming around the side we've got the beautiful 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels for the trail edition these are by far my favorite rims and tire setup for any of the rav4 editions then of course you come around you can see the two-tone paint here going from blue to white and then you've got the colored side mirrors with turning signals attached these are power foldable they're heated looks really good then we've got the bridge style roof rails that come over the top for any accessories that you may want to put up there for skis bikes and then coming around the back we do have led tail lights we've got a rear kind of lip spoiler with integrated led brake lighting as well uh, we've got our trail badging here the rav4 logo and then of course the trunk is automatic so as well with the RAV4 Trail Edition you do get the ability to tow up to 3,500 pounds of weight and then as you take a look under the hood of the RAV4 you've got a 2.5 liter four-cylinder that puts out 203 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque and all of that's paired with an eight-speed automatic direct shift gearbox so then as you get to the interior of the vehicle, you can see that they have done some incredible styling in here. Um, the seats are beautifully designed. You've got heated and ventilated seats, and as well, it comes with this really nice kind of orange stitching throughout. I don't know about you, but I kind of like the styling in here. It's very unique to the Trail Edition, but I think it's kind of fun. It's kind of rugged, but there's like still nice soft touch feels everywhere, so it's actually an enjoyable vehicle to be in. The seats aren't like the most comfortable, but they hug you quite well. They're good for long distance trips. I've taken a few in the RAV4s before and really enjoy it. Then as you get into the entertainment, you've got an eight inch infotainment system that does support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto now. As well, there's like a whole suite of apps that you can get with the Toyota connected services. We've also got a dual climate, automatically controlled climate system and the buttons and knobs in here, they feel really rugged. They're fairly like rubberized, so not plasticky and they feel really, really good to touch so we do have soft touch feels all throughout the cabin with this orange stitching all the way throughout um, and nice kind of like rubberized handles it just feels rugged in here but is well refined coming down we've got a leather wrapped shift knob we've got a chi wireless charging pad here that you can turn on and down here is where you plug in your usb for the apple carplay or android auto whichever you prefer and then you have all your different drive modes selectable right here so we've got eco mode normal sport You've also got options for mud and sand, rock and dirt. Because the Trail Edition comes with dynamic torque vectoring all-wheel drive, the multi-terrain select dial gives you the option to send power to different wheels and they'll interact with the transmission differently. And as well, it does come with a rear driveline disconnect. So if the rear wheels aren't being used, they'll just kind of disconnect and they'll just drive with the front wheels. Moving over to the steering wheel, um, the seating position in here is quite nice. Um, the steering wheel size is a good size. It is a heated steering wheel as well. You've got Got all your Toyota Safety Sense controls um, for your cruise control right here on the right side and on the left you have control for your infotainment system and then up front you've got a seven inch display in the center there that gives you a whole bunch of information and a digital speedometer as well with the 2020s they did come out with a really cool new app with the Toyota connected app so you guys can start your car with this you can stop your car you can lock your doors it does track where you last parked your car gives you like maintenance updates a whole whack of different options come with the Toyota connected services um, personally owning a Toyota this is one of my favorite parts of it if you own a smartwatch you can also use your smartwatch to stop and start your car which is a really fun feature so we are out on the road just taking this for a quick drive to get a feel for it and I want to talk to you guys about the Toyota Safety Sense 2.0 features that are in this vehicle if you haven't experienced any of the safety features in some of the most modern vehicles 
This one does it extremely well. We've got some of the basic safety sense features in here. We've got blind spot monitoring that shows up on your mirrors. We've got radar sensitive cruise control so you can set the distance on your steering wheel of how far you wanna be from the person in front of you. As well, it has pre-collision system warnings and detections and with auto braking. So it will now detect pedestrians and bicycles. And in Toyota Safety Sense 2.0, they've actually upgraded the low light capabilities as well. We've got lane trace assist. So you can press the button here on the steering wheel and it will detect both the sides and edges of the road. It will detect the center of the road and the lane. So it has a lot of different features tracking to keep you centered. And you can also change the sensitivity of the lane trace assist. The driving experience is quite nice. The eight speed automatic gearbox is fairly fluid. The gas pedal is responsive. And of course you can put it into sport mode. And then the RPMs are gonna try and anticipate you wanting to go a little bit faster. And all of the different drive modes will change the transmission and the gear ratios a little bit to adapt to whether you're in mud and sand, snow mode, sport mode, the transmission and the wheels and the gearing, they all kind of adapt to whichever mode you're in. It is fairly comfortable. The suspension isn't too stiff. The ride quality is fairly nice. I wouldn't say it's anything to write home about. Uh, the Toyota Highlander, which I have also done a review on, you can click the pop out here. That was a very comfortable ride. The suspension, the seating, this is um, not bad in any way, shape or form, but it just doesn't have that extra step of comfort that some of those more luxury or bigger size SUVs might have. Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of this review. Let me know in the comments what you think of the 2020 RAV4 Trail Edition. Come check me out on Instagram where I post a lot of my content as well. And if you did like this guys, please smash that like button, consider subscribing, and uh, I'd love to make more content for you guys like this in the future. So until the next time, take care and we'll see you later.